This video is a display of employment for all people who want to work. There are resources and supports available to assist in making your employment dreams a reality. You are about to view testimonies and personal accounts regarding employment from people with disabilities who are currently working. My name is Nicole Campbell. I went to Homeville High School. I, I work for the Parish Council Office in the courthouse. I have been working there for 12 years. I copy legal copies for, for their microfilms and I copy for other people. I do computer work. I feel happy. I like to get out of the house and go to work. I love my co-workers. They're nice and respect. Hi, my name is Craig Blackburn. I work at Wind Dixie in Jefferson Highway in River Ridge. I've been with Wind Dixie for almost 12 years. And when next here, with my job is I bag and also carry out for customers and have the opportunity to socialize with my associates and the customers. Customers always comes first. Why it's important is that people with special needs, like everyone else, we have a home, we um, get ready to get married, um, have a our life and we always could get back to the community that we live in and I know sometimes people with special needs just have feelings for being scared at work is to try to work harder be positive to yourself don't give up it's given the opportunity for special needs to realize that they know that they, you can do it. Don't, don't get, give up at all. But I think some people, like being at home, is like more nervous than going to work. But each day you wake up every morning, just think for one thing. You work for a company and you, you, you want to be employed. Every day people wake up to prepare for their day. For many people, they are also preparing to go to work. This is an event that takes place every day. Yet, for many, the hope of employment at times is only a dream, especially people with disabilities. Many feel prohibited in pursuing employment for many reasons. Hi, my name is Ron Davis. I'm from St. Charles Parish. I'm working at Win Dixie and I've been working at Win Dixie out there for three years. I felt pretty good because I wanted something experience for me to step up, you know, to do my train, to do a little training, do a training, a little job, you know, to have a little job experiences. I am working as a uh, courtesy clerk. I'm a bagger to help customers helping bags for their groceries and pushing buggies because I will really like to help the customers to help the people in their community around this area. I feel good because I wanted to work and because I don't want to, I just don't feel like sitting at home and don't do nothing around it, around here. And the reason I felt that if the people wanted to work, if they want to be hired, they can come over here and explain with the, about the procedure and what it could be for their good experiences. The best for me is about part about part about me working is like to help people, to communicate, and to talk about their talk about their families and socializing, and they they will love to represent in their communities to keep the family safe. And if they come around to our neighborhood store. 
you know, to shop. And we would love to have them over here at the store. As a matter of fact, some people don't want to work because if they won't sit around, if they sit around, like hanging around and not do anything, they should, you know, they should think about what they want to do in their life in the future. My name is Christine Rochelle, and I work at McDonald's at GM on. Um, I do um, I do table and baseball, like get stuff for my master, like draw stuff and, and camera stuff and help my my teammate buy stuff he need like hand bar boxes. I did that for for um for my teammates like boxes. I, w I would in I would encourage um, another parent to um, take advantage of employment in the community. Um, we were very fearful because um, not knowing how she was going to respond, whether or not somebody was going to fire her or somebody was going to hurt her. But uh, there's a process that takes place. There's job coaches. Uh, there's training that takes place. Um, the the uh, employee in the community is very, very uh, receptive, um, um, very patient. And um, it has given my daughter uh, a sense of independence, it has given her the opportunity to work as a team. Uh, she works at McDonald's, and so she wears her uniform. Um, and she understands um, jobs, she understands the completion of jobs, um, she understands authority and, and, and um, what's her part in the, the whole job. Uh, you give her a sense of earning her own money um, and the idea that um, she knows now that other people work and she works too which gives her a sense of self uh, that she she contributes um, the idea that she has tax returns and payroll checks and stubs and 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 it's is uh, it's real exciting. I, I can just tell the way that she talks about her job uh, and uh, how how conscientious she is, she has it, and and the idea that she can't miss work because people depend on her, and um, it has given her a lot of independence, a lot of empowerment, and um, and it's made her feel good about herself. I thought uh, working was a very, very important part of Aaron's life uh, because um, now he has an opportunity to get out into the community and to uh, experience what it is to have a job. And with him having a job, now he feels like uh, he can be responsible for taking care of some of his own needs because I stressed to him that everything is not free today. So with him working now, uh, I'm very, very excited about that because he know what it is to earn money and he know when he goes to the store now he can have his own money to buy uh, all of his CDs and all of his DVDs and all the things that he liked to have and uh, I feel good about that. So when I was approached I was like yes let's do it because uh, it was a great opportunity for him. When Aaron got his first job in the community, I was excited because, uh, you know, he loves to ride his bike and uh, sometimes, you know, I would go out through the community and I was like, uh, boy, if Aaron had something else to do, it would be very, very good for him. That way, you know, I know where he is, I know what he's doing and uh, it's beneficial to him and uh, it was just an experience uh, for the entire family to have him get up in the morning and get dressed for work and uh, just go do what it is that he had to do for himself. 
Uh, I think what I was very, very concerned about with Aaron, um, if Aaron is um, pressured and he really doesn't understand uh, what's going on or what he needs to do. He gets kind of nervous and kind of upset uh, if you really don't take your time to uh, tell him what he needs to do. So I was very concerned about him uh, getting nervous and uh, not being able to perform. But uh, once he got comfortable on the job and he understood that people were there to help him with anything that he had questions about, uh, we all felt very, very relieved about that because I know uh, that if something was going on that wasn't quite right, I could get on the phone, I called his job coach, and they were there to take care of everything that uh, concerned Aaron and uh, myself. I think now that Aaron is working, um, uh, he's developed a sense of responsibility, uh, knowing that he has to get up on time, knowing that he has to get to work on time, and uh, he knows now that uh, he has to go there and he has to perform a job. He just can't go there and play around. So I think he's uh, uh, taken on um, a sense of responsibility and knowing that what he's doing for the community and on his job is very, very serious and that um, he has to do it and do it well. I wanted my first job because I like to do stuff in the community. I like to go to football games and I like to be responsible for my own money and buy my CDs, my movies and all that. I like to have my own money, get me a hamburger, go to the football games and don't like to ask nobody for nothing in the community. Three years at Winn-Dixie. I can meet my friends, talk to my same player, and, and meet other people in the community. Best part is, I can meet same players. I have money, save my own money, get my hamburgers, and meet my employees, and talk to the same players, and meet the same people. They treat me nice, and I like working with my coworkers, and they treat me like family. I got one more thing to say, y'all. Who said they gonna beat them Saints? <laughs>